Okay, so this will teach you all the other adaptations you need to know. So what was the logical explanation for sunken stomata? What does that create? What did we say below? What was the key word? Um, gradient. Humid, humid microstructure. And what that's going to do is reduce the concentration gradient of water and thus reduce the rate of transpiration. Good. What about a curled leaf? What do you think a curled leaf does? Give you a hint. When reduce water surface evaporates. Area? Yeah, yeah, good. It does reduce surface area. But there is a bigger reason. When you have a curled leaf, when water evaporates, Ishan, where does it go? Can it go to the environment or does it condense on the next layer and then stays a humid microclimate? Yeah, the second option. Yeah, and guess what that does? All of this. So a curled leaf has the exact same effect as a sunken stomata. The water will evaporate, but it will condense as it hits the next layer and will form a humid microclimate that will again reduce transpiration. Easy. Next, Maya, care to explain how this protects against water loss? A thick, waxy cuticle. Um, oh no, I completely forgot. That's fine. I, see, I don't want you to memorize, Maya. I want you to logically deduce. What were the factors that affect the rate of osmosis again? Um, concentration gradient and rate of osmosis. And um, what was I saying? Surface area to volume ratio. Good. And what were the two that you didn't get? Um, the thickness of the... Good. Stop right there. Thickness. When you create a waxy cuticle, has anyone scratched a plant before that they might have plucked off at school in a bush and it's got this thick layer of wax on it? No? Well, I was a bit curious. So I used to, I used to just pick some leaves off plants and just play with them. And some of them would have this thick layer of wax, right? When you scratched it, the wax would come off. And I'd wonder, you know, why it has wax. And the reason was when you have a thick layer of wax on a leaf, so imagine this is your thick layer of wax. What that does is it increases the distance that the water molecule needs to pass through before it can evaporate. And that's going to slow down the rate of transpiration. So that affects the thickness of the leaf, which is going to slow the rate of transpiration. it makes it more difficult for water molecules to escape. Make sense? Any other reasons why we have a thick waxy cuticle? This is a really relevant exam question. It could be, outline the function of the waxy cuticle of a leaf with reference to pathogens and water conservation. So we've explained the water conservation part. Can we explain the pathogen part? Does it increase like a uh, boundary layer? So um, it's like protection. Very good. Pathogens. Yeah, so I kind of handed it to all of you in a silver platter. That was a physical barrier to pathogens too, right? So those are two use cases of the thick waxy cuticle. Very good. Good job. Done.